it's Crystal and I am back today to do a video on some empty slash review. This is on hair products specifically for natural hair girls. However, any of these products can be used if you perm your hair, relax your hair, anything like that. They're good products. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to review them. I'm going to show you what I have. Oh, I just like ruined my swatch from my previous video I recorded. But whatever, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you the products, I'm going to tell you my opinion on them, and yeah, we're going to go ahead. If you have any questions, again, remember to leave them down below, and to rate and subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, so let me get started. Now, I have finished, hmm, I have finished two, I believe, two of these <laughs> last. I don't remember when I finished them, how long it took me to finish them, but these are the e the Eco Styler Olive Oil Styling Gel. They're alcohol free. They're made with pure um, olive oil. They're about three dollars each in Toronto. You can get them at the beauty supply store. I even believe I've seen them at Walmart and Target, but don't quote me. Empty, as you see, two of them. This is my Holy Grail gel. This is what I used to do my puffs and my buns, anything up. I'm not, I don't do that many styles, and I'm sure you can see right now my hair looks popped down currently. So right now I don't even know what I'm doing. But these are really good. They hold. They give you a nice hold. They don't break your hair off. They're alcohol free. Um, they work really well. You can even do wash and go with them. I've tried a few times. I don't mind it. I would definitely use it in a jam. Um, I just love it. It's a good thing. It's maximum hold. So if you need a sleek um, updo or to put your hair back or tame your I don't know if you could tame your edges with it. I'm not really an edge girl, but you could do a lot with this. And for three dollars. They have smaller ones. I have a smaller one that I put in my travel um, thing. Good product. You can't lose. It's $3, people. $3. I believe I've shown this before, but this is the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. And as you see, I'm done. Um, I've bought this repeatedly. Uh, this is probably the third, fourth, maybe fifth one I've had. I really like this Deep Treatment deep treatment deep treatment for my hair it says it's for dry damaged hair I tend to buy products that say that because I find them extra moisturizing although my hair isn't damaged it is a little dry because it's winter time but I still buy it in the summer so I like it um it has argan oil and sea kelp as well as the shea and I find my hair loves argan oil and it likes um it likes shea butter in these type of forms. I don't particularly like the real shea, and I'm sure it works really great, but I don't like the smell. It's got to be mixed up. So I like this. Oh, sorry. I just dropped it, but this is sort of expensive in Canada. If you are looking for it, they are in the beauty supply stores. I've actually been asked so much times what I use on my hair um, while I'm out, and a lot of Torontonian girls are not even like aware of this line, which is sort of strange to me, but I guess being the hair junkie product and product collector I am, I tell them, beauty supply store, as well as uh, Honey Fig. And if you're not familiar with where Honey Fig is, just go ahead, comment below, and I'll let you know. But I really like this product. I will continue buying this product. Another Shea Moisture product. If you don't know, I like Shea Moisture. I love Shea Moisture. I think they're a great company. I love to support black companies, black-owned companies, and I like their products. Um, this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus, Hibiscus, sorry I can't speak today, Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is with uh, coconut oil, silk protein, and neem oil. It's for thick curly hair. Exactly what I have is moisture and shine. Now what, okay, I love this. Um, sometimes I don't and sometimes I do, but I know how to use it correctly now. Um, I used to use it like do a wash and go in and put this on and then go outside and think that was what was popping. If you don't like hold, that's okay. You probably like it. But if you like a little hold, if you want to have curls at the end of the day, then you can't do that with this. This is good for when you've washed your hair, you've put your leave-in conditioner, you've put in your oils, and then you put this in to do like a braid out, a twist out, some type of protective styling. Your hair will look great. I love big, wild hair that's me i have a lot of big wild hair so i like to display it this does a good job of holding um the curl or the twist or whatever it is 
and I like the smell sometimes. <laughs> Actually, it's a nice smell. It just sometimes gets to me, but I like it. Will I be purchasing again? Hell yeah. This is probably my fourth, fifth, sixth one. I don't know, but definitely really good. Unfortunately, this, the, the prices are a little high for, for us in Toronto. I don't know if I finished saying that, but um, they're a little higher for us in Toronto. So if you are from Toronto and you're going to be traveling into the States, definitely swing by one of the drugstores, Walmarts, any of those, and pick them up for like half the price. Yeah. Another product I got is the Silicone Mix Bamboo. I always wanted to try this so bad. It's a Dominican uh, hair product and I always wanted to try it. I watched like tons of reviews, was going to order it off Amazon, all type of jazz, but then I luckily seen this more recently in the beauty supply store. I'm like dropping so much stuff, guys. Anyway, this is a deep mask, a deep treatment mask. It's alright. Um, I don't find it special. It doesn't work bad. It makes my hair feel good. Uh, will I be purchasing it again? Probably not. Would I try the other ones that they have? Sure, they're a good price. This one was probably like five bucks or less. So definitely worth giving a try. Um, I think it has silicones in it. I believe it has something I don't usually like to use. Oh, there's mineral oil in it. So there's a couple. There's a couple of ingredients that aren't particularly you know natural hair friendly, but it's all right. I don't mind it the as i am curling jelly quill and curl definer um as i am is popping like that's a next other than shea moisture this is my second or third runner up with brand i really like this is about 15 dollars canadian um it's if you've ever used kinky curly it's something like that very similar consistency just that it doesn't take as long to dry and it doesn't leave that sort of crispy curl thing i don't really like that but it's really nice i like to use this mostly within the summer months i don't do as much wash and goes in the winter months for obvious reasons but um i like it and this is my i bought another one so i would definitely purchase it again i like it it doesn't give it uh, some hardcore oil hold and it has a lot of great ingredients in it and it's vegan as well lord y'all i have these forever they're dusty anyway this is the as i am coconut co-wash cleansing conditioner now i'm not much of a co-washer i'll be honest i just just don't get down with the co-washing but i said let me try let me try it too okay and i like co-washing it's all right like would i do it all the time would i neglect my shampoo no i wouldn't but i do like the idea of it especially if you're feeling like your hair is a little dry if you suffer from dryness if you find that shampoo dries out your hair stuff like that then it might be worth considering this is really nice it does clean your hair it doesn't make your hair feel like you know you just rinsed it out essentially it does clean the scalp very well i would definitely recommend this if you're a co-washer or you like the idea of co-washing um this one is mixed it has tangerine coconut oil castor oil uh saw palmetto and some next thing i really can't pronounce but it has no suds it is moisturizing but again as i said it makes your hair feel clean so definitely recommend it it's a good price i got this for about ten dollars in the beauty supply so ten dollars canadian i like it the the jar is a little much because you are using it like in the shower and the second you drop it that's a wrap but it's a good it's a good um product i would definitely purchase it again another uh product this is by tresemme natural silicone free conditioner this is a nourishing moisture moisture conditioner it has aloe and avocado oil i've gone through like countless amount of these countless amounts i've used this so much times it is definitely a really good drugstore conditioner if you're looking for an inexpensive conditioner um is it my top notch no but would i use it would i buy it again of course it's um it's good it doesn't make your hair feel dry it doesn't have um silicone in it i'm not sure if it has parabens i'm not even sure i didn't even read into that to be honest but it's very good i like it and they have bigger ones they have ones with the pump if you're in a jam and you need something at the drugstore definitely look into this 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 is oyen honey hemp honey yeah honey hemp um detangling and moisturizer ha moisturizing hair conditioner i'm sorry i cannot speak today um this i bought countless amount of times it's expensive it's twenty dollars canadian and it's a very small bottle in the states it's cheaper um i really like oyen handmade i like 
not all of their stuff, but I really like this and I bought it many times. I like the ingredients. Like, sorry, I'm like continuously looking at this and not the camera, but good ingredients. I use it as a leave-in conditioner. I'm not about to wash no $20 hair conditioner out of my hair in such a small bottle all the time. So I use it as a leave-in conditioner. It has some humectants in it, so it's probably more suitable for someone in either a warm climate because it keeps moisture in your hair or if it's summertime. Summertime is when I usually wear, use this the most. I would purchase it over and over again. I really like this product a lot. This is Darcy's Botanical Sweet Cream Daily Leave-In Conditioner. Now at first I didn't really care for this. I got it on a recommendation when I went into Honey Fig, the natural hair store that's in Toronto. Again, if you need information, I got you. Um, I didn't care for it initially when I bought it. I almost regret it because I usually always buy the oil and handmade that I just showed. However, I actually do really like it. It grew on me. It's a nice um, leave-in conditioner. It's very light. It's uh, conditions and softens your coils, your hair, whatever. I like it. Um, oh. It has really good ingredients. Again, it's twenty dollars, and this is more the size I'd be thinking about spending twenty dollars on. I'm sorry if I haven't even been showing these products, like zooming up on them, but I will go ahead and annotate them. Sorry, once you're at the YouTube game, you just forget what you have to do. Um, but this is great. Would I purchase it again? I'm not really sure. Would I recommend it to someone? Sure, definitely. It was a good product. I used it all of it, so I like it. Oh, this is so old and crusty, guys. This is the Oyen Handmade Hairdo. It's a quenching lotion, so it's pretty much like a, a daily leave-in conditioner. Um, I per I picked it up thinking it would be better than the honey, the the honey, the, the last Oyen Handmade product that I showed you. It's a bigger bottle. This one is thirty-four dollars Canadian, so I did do a little investing. It's okay. Um, I would not buy this again. I just it just didn't have the slip I was looking for. It didn't moisturize my hair like I was expecting it to. It was okay. It was all right. It was forgettable. I used it because I had it and I paid money for it. Last but not least, this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Transitioning Milk. Um, I like this. Would I buy it again? Not. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I know how to use this product completely. Like, it, it's not particularly good hold if you want to do, like, a twist out or a braid out or anything like that. But it does add moisture to your hair. So it's good as, like, probably, like, an everyday type of leave-in conditioner. Although that's not the intention of the product itself. I get a little confused with these milks and these things. Like, I don't know what to do with them. And I don't know if it's just <laughs> me. But I, I like it the product but I don't think I like it for its intended pur purpose whatever that is but I do like it I do like it would I buy it again probably not there's other things in the line I like a little bit more but would you should you get it sure it's definitely a good product I think all Shea Moisture products I like there's only probably one I've ever tried which is in my products I regret video if you want to take a look now one last product, it's not completely done, but it's like on its way out, is the Josie Moran uh, Argan Oil. Um, this I use majority in my hair. I was using it for my face at one point, but I sort of stopped and mostly use it in my hair. I find it cuts the drying time as well as it moisturizes the end of the hair. So I would definitely purchase this again. It is very expensive. I think for this, it's like 60 bucks or something. I can't remember. Something ridiculous. They sell smaller bottles of it, so it's... It's worthwhile and you again you can use it on your skin you can use it on your face you can use it on your hair there's so many uses for it so it's not to say it's just a over you know zealous product I purchased just for my hair alone but it, I use it mostly on my hair at this point definitely recommend it definitely there's so many benefits of argan oil and I can definitely say it, it helps my hair and I really like it so I would recommend it and I would purchase it again Alright guys, so I think I've gone through all my empties and my mini reviews on each of the products. So um, thank you for watching. If you do have any questions or you want to even recommend any products that you think I should try or you have, want to know about products in the Toronto area, definitely let me know. Thank you once again for watching my videos. Remember again to rate and subscribe and I hope that you do have a good day. Bye.